ready for a real good conversation? I am. Conversation with me, Michael C., the source of life over the mic, and the feisty one, Miss Shannon Reed, where the laughter is the soundtrack and positivity is the script, and good vibes are just the bottom. Well, you already know we got to have ourselves a carefree conversation that's perfect to me up for this evening. Ah, with that being said, I'm going to introduce you to three guests. When I introduce you to these three guests, these three gentlemen, they're trying to make not just an impact, a huge impact in the, in, in the education community. And with that being said, I want to introduce you first to my guy, my guy, Mr. Q. Party. What's going on, Q? What's good with you guy? Next, I want to introduce you, my guy. Terrell. Next, I'm going to introduce my guy, Mr. Frank. And I'm going to let them go ahead and I'm going to let them say hi to you guys. Let's first start with my guy, Q. Mr. Smell Good. Go get him, guy. How are you doing, man? Man, I'm doing good. A little tired, but uh, I think I'm straight. I know that's right. Mr. Terrell, how are you doing, my friend? I can't complain, man. Trying to keep everything the main thing. Trying to stay focused throughout everything, man. That's what it is. That's what it is. Mr. Frank, how are you, my man? Wonderful. Let's go. You already know. You already know. I already seen you already. You're daddy playing daddy daycare. I ain't mad at you, guy. I do it all the time myself, my friend. Well, you already see the men of PA Steam Academy doing well. They're all doing the daddy daycare thing, or they're already tired from a long day's work. One day, but we still got four days left. You already know what it is. And with that being said, we'll be back right after this. We're back, we're back, we're back. You already know who it is. It's Michael C., the source of life over the mic. You already know we're about to have that real good conversation. I'll have a real good conversation with the, the men of PA Steam Academy. Let's go to the first, go to the unsung hero. The unsung hero of PA Steam Academy, without a shadow of a doubt, is doing this thing after everyone leaves. After all the, the mess is going on, my guy, my guy, Q, what's the coolest thing you found while cleaning up and you just scratch your head like, did I really see that? Well, um, when I was uh, cleaning up during the summer, when I first got the job, I seen a Lilo and Stitch uh, keychain. And I'm a I'm a fan of Lilo and Stitch, and I was like, oh, that, that, that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't really seen anything too crazy yet. Um, I'm waiting to see some money or something just laying somewhere. But um, I seen a Lilo and Stitch uh, keychain, and I grabbed it, and I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. Hopefully, it wasn't one of the kids. Sorry, but that was one of the coolest things. My God. Now, as the bells the bells out, kids are gone, staff is out. Now it's just you and the cleaning supplies, you and the mop. If your mop could talk, what do you think it would say to you about all the adventures you've been through in the school? Uh, first, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of dirty in here. But um, now nah, um, I think also it's, it, this is a big school. Um, it's You're going through a lot of nooks, nooks and crannies and stuff, but it will say also that it's it, it, it's getting better. It's 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 clean. When I first was mopping this floor, it was it was a lot, but now I can see the growth. I can see the the school is getting a little tidied up a little bit more. 
definitely agree. I definitely agree. You you definitely done an incredible job to that school. Like you said, it's a big school, and once again, you are definitely the MVP when it comes down to it. And with that being said, how do you like? What's the secret behind this incredible job that you do, and how you maintain the cleanliness in the school? Uh, I would say love what you do. Um, I'm a big advocate on cleaning. Uh, I love a, a clean home. I love a, a you know clean body. Um, just uh, just love what you do. Don't come in with uh, your mess. Um, the kids will see that. Uh, the teachers and stuff will see that. Um, and just you know have pride in what you do. So you know a lot of people don't wouldn't like cleaning, um, but just have pride in what you do. Come in there with a, a smile on your face, even if it's hard, and um, just maintain. You know, keep doing the same thing you're doing. So. Definitely do, definitely do, my man. And just like Dion say, if you look good, you feel good. You feel good. They play good. You play good. They pay good, baby. And yeah. I'm not even gonna lie to you, dog. And when that's a nice, clean school, you can just see the kids. The kids is doing paying good because guess what? Them grades is looking right, <laughs> without a shot of a doubt. Well, next, we will be going to the teacher's assistants, what PH Steam Academy likes to call success coaches. And we'll be back with them right after this. We're back, we're back, we're back. You already know who it is. It's Michael C. The source of light over the mic. I'm having that real good conversation with some of the men of PA Steam Academy. Let's go to the success coaches. A lot of people like to call them teacher's assistants. But at PA Steam Academy, they call them success coaches. I want to ask you, I want to ask you, Frank, if you had a superhero sidekick, of the classroom, who would it be? And describe him to me. Yeah, I'm going to just describe him. Uh, just somebody to hold me accountable and somebody to just make up um, for some of the stuff I'm not the best at. Um, but mainly just somebody to keep me on task, keep me motivated. School years can be long, so just somebody to keep me upbeat. Because we're not going to always be at 100% every day, but just somebody that's there to push me when I might be a little under the weather, not my best self. That's the type of person I would want next to me. There you go. Same, same thing to you, Mr. Terrell. If you had a superhero sidekick of the classroom, who would it, what would it be? Just describe. Um, somebody, that's a, somebody that's like enthusiastic, about their job and somebody upbeat, somebody keeping me up and attentive. And yeah, like somebody just keeping me on my uh, toes, somebody that's keeping me, somebody that's holding me accountable, that's somebody that has an expectation, you know what I mean, that they need me to meet, that go. I can meet every day, day in and day out. There it is. There it is. And I like the way y'all both said it all together because when it really hits the fan, when it comes down to being success coaches, we have a lot of hats that we have to put on. Because sometimes you walk into the classroom, you'll see you have to put in one hat for a child. To let, and then you might have to put in on that another hat for the teacher because the teacher is asking you to do another thing. Then you have to do another hat because a student is doing something else. There's a lot of stuff. In that six-hour period, you might have to put on about 15 to 20 hats. And here's the crazy part. Here's the kicker. After you put on all those 20 hats, you got to go home to your own. All of us know. And when we go home to our own, we have to take all those hats that were exhausted and have to put on that one hat. And that hat better be something with a nice smile because, again, it's all these kids want to see at the end of the day. They want to see their daddy, mommy, with a smile on their face when they see them walk through that door. And it can be hard at times. But, ah. Anyway. I want to ask you guys this question. Mr. Terrell, if you created a subject for Success Coach 101, 
What would be the first lesson that you would teach the future success coaches? To be prepared for anything. <laughs> um, I mean, PA seems a diverse school. Um, we have kids that are coming from single parent households, two parent households, across the river. So we have to just be prepared. You have to you have to be able to adjust. You can't teach every kid. You can't talk to every kid the same because they ain't all going through the same thing. Right. And 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 they all not coming from the same background. Right. So just be prepared and stay ready and love what you do. It's simple. That's something. Same question to you, Mr. Frank. If you created a success coach 101, what would be the first lesson you would teach a future success coach? As much as education is important and we emphasize it at PA STEAM, I would try to let them success coaches know that the lessons that probably are going to stick with the kids the longest in their life is going to be the life lessons we teach them. Stuff on how to be a young lady, how to be a young man, being responsible, being accountable, dealing with adversity. The school part, we're going to always handle that because we got two teachers in the classroom. We got tutors. We got, we got all types of help in that building. But I would say the most important lessons are going to be the lessons that you can't really find in a textbook or on a PowerPoint. That's what I would try to emphasize to the success coaches. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want to know when it comes down to, to being a success coach, Frank, what was one of the most heart heartwarming moments this year for you? I've had a lot of different heartwarming moments since I've been at Peary Stan since my first year. But I would say um a little heartwarming thing that stood out to me is every day I get on the kids about tying their shoes. And I had a kid that just didn't couldn't figure it out. So I spent like 15 minutes a day with him for about a week. And just seeing the smile on his face and seeing how proud he was of himself that he finally learned how to tie his shoes, that was heartwarming because I could see that kids just appreciate adults that pour time into them. Like it, you could be teaching them how to tie their shoes. You could be teaching them one plus one. When they see that you care about them and you're willing to put the time in, it gives them that sense of feeling like they belong. So that was a good moment for me. What about you, Mr. Corral? What was the most heartwarming moment this year? Um, just thinking, just thinking back, I've only been there for a couple months, but I have a kid that never does his homework and I kind of stay on him about it. You know what I mean? And, uh, one day he just ran up to me and he's like, Hey, yo, Mr. T, I did my homework and he wanted me to be so happy with him. You know what I mean? And I was proud of him. I, I praised him and I even gave him a gift. Granted, you know what I mean? It might have been one out of 49 times, but him just being motivated and me staying consistent with him and telling him, and just being on top of him about not doing his homework, and he finally came to me, and he's and he and he showed me his folder completed for all all of the assignments were done. So that was heartwarming, it, just to see him that happy to show me that he did what I asked him to do. Let me ask you, Mr. Q, what was the most heartwarming moment this year for you? Um, I think it's going to be the one with uh, Chatter News. Um. When they um, asked me, well, did the the interview, and they came in, it was like, oh yeah, Mr. Q is you know um, this and that. Like he's, I, I feel safe around him. I feel um, I, I know I can be around him and you know feel feel good and stuff and feel safe. Uh, that was very heartwarming and just giving getting hugs from the the kids. Um, I don't have one, I have many. So that was. Well, I would say my thing is just that Chatter News um, day. There it is, guys. When it comes around to it, men of PA Steam Academy, seems like they show love 
to the youth, to the parents, and also to the staff. Because when it comes down to it, we are family. That's the one thing I've noticed about PA STEAM Academy. They open their arms and they also open up their hearts. Shout out to you, Principal Morrison, and the rest of the board at PA STEAM Academy. With that being said, we'll be back right after this. We're back, we're back, we're back. You already know who it is. It's Michael C., the source of light over the mic. Um, sitting here with some of the men of PA Steam Academy. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's only $3.99. I hear all the things that you guys do at PA Steam Academy, but I need to know what the impact you have outside of PA Steam Academy. Let's first go to Mr. Q. Mr. Q, what do you do outside of PA STEAM Academy? So outside of PA STEAM, um, I have many talents, I would say. Um, uh, I sing, I produce, um, I do art, draw. Um, but the thing that I really got into this last four years is uh, fragrances. Um, not cologne. Everybody say cologne, but it's fragrances. Um, so I have a Instagram, heaven sense underscore 20, TikTok, um, Facebook, YouTube, it's all my government name, Koishon Durden. Um, and I just dig deep into fragrances, um, not uh, the expensive ones, even though I have expensive fragrances, but that you can smell good um, at a $20 budget, a $30, $10, uh, sometimes $5. You, you find a lot of clearance sales and stuff, um, but I'm so deep into it that I can pick out different notes and different, um, you know, uh, floral notes if it's woody if it's this and that um i can pick that out because i've been really diving deep into it uh these last couple years um, there it is. Click, click that description below you already know what to do y'all again let me ask you mr frank what do you do outside of pa steam academy yeah so when i leave pa steam academy first and foremost i'm a full-time dad to a beautiful little girl but on top of that, I'm a seventh for eighth grade boys basketball coach for Harrisburg. So that's a very fulfilling job because basketball is one of my passions. So to be able to coach um the next generation, mainly with lessons off the court, it's very enjoyable. Um and actually big shout out to Miss Morrison. She's gonna be coming to our home game this Thursday. So that's what I spend my time doing. There it is. There it is. Open, open. My guy, Mr. Terrell, what do you do outside of PA STEAM Academy to impact the community? Outside of PA STEAM, I'm the uh, ninth grade freshman boys head football coach for the Harrisburg Cougars and uh, the varsity assistant, office assi offense assistant as well. So, um, you know, teaching them lessons, teaching them how to teach them the next generation how to deal with adversity on and off the field and just preparing us to uh, continue to be successful. If any of uh, your viewers or followers or subscribers been paying attention to the Harrisburg Cougars. So, you know, we don't rebuild. We re we reload. That's our motto. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Well, you see, these guys have an impact on PA STEAM Academy. Now you're seeing these guys don't just have an impact on PA STEAM Academy. They're trying to have an impact on their city and a lot more. With that being said, we'll wrap this up. And we'll be back right after this. We're back, we're back, we're back. You already know who it is, Michael C., the source of life over the mic. Again, hit that like and subscribe button. It's only $3.99. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I had a great conversation with the men of PA Steam Academy. My guy, Q, 
my God Terrell, and my God Frank. But again, I want to notice, want to know, do they have any shout outs before we leave this evening? Guys, have any shout outs? I got a couple. Go ahead. First things first, shout out to the PA team for giving me this opportunity to impact the youth in, in another way. Shout out my daughter. I forgot to even mention it this whole episode. I'm a four-time dad as well. And, man, just shout out to the men that are out there doing what they got to do, impacting the youth. It ain't too many of us, man. They'd rather give you – they'd rather give our young boys a, a pack or a gun or something else and none of this knowledge that we out here trying to give them. So shout out to all the men that's out here that's making a difference and shout out to all the men that's handling their responsibilities. And shout out Frank. Shout out to Michael C. Smith. Great mentor. Me and Tyrell started as success coaches this school year, so we definitely needed somebody to lean on. You know, Mr. Schmidt, as I, as we like to call him, he's been that role model and that example for us on how to be a good success coach. I'm the type of person that I don't really like follow somebody from what they say. I follow them by their actions. And ever since I started at PhD, I see you on it day in and day out with the kids. I see you making that positive impact on them and giving them that tough love when needed and being a friend to them when needed. So I just want to give you a, a special shout out to keep going and keep handling your business. Mr. Schmidt, appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all you guys when it comes down to it. All you guys you guys all give me that energy, man. Don't don't just go towards me. Trust me, I watch y'all too. Y'all too. Y'all y'all do a heck of a job. What you guys do, trust me. Not a lot of people can do what we do. I'm talking about all of us here. It's a tough job, man. It's a tough job, Mr. Q. Got any shout outs? Yeah, um, I am actually a part of a podcast called Righteous Rebel. Um, so ESG and uh, Lady Parks. Also, um, I just want to shout out y'all. Um, uh, just for, I, I respect y'all so much, um, especially, uh, Mr. Wilson, you know, he has my, my son in his class and I see my son's, um, you know, excitement and stuff like that. Um, uh, whenever he comes home, he, you know, say that, you know, he respects him and stuff like that. So I, I really respect, uh, Mr. Wilson and, um, you know, Mr. Smith, uh, I grew up with, uh, Terrell, um, but yeah, I respect all y'all, man. Thank y'all for what y'all do for the kids at the school. Um. And yeah. And thank all thank you all, all man. Like for real. I have to definitely give a special, special shout out to my guy, my little brother, Mr. Hawkins. You already know what it is there, guy. Another shout out I'm gonna give to Principal Morrison. You already know what it is, girl. You know what it is. But I wanna thank you for tuning in to Real Good Combo with the source of light over the mic. Mike you see. And the feisty one, Miss Shannon Reedy, who will be back at later date. Where the smiles are contagious and the joy is our sign off. If you want to reach us, all you have to do is email us at the one, the number one skybox at gmail.com. Until next time, keep the vibe flowing and remember, be good to yourself and also 